for seven on sevens, the endless hours in the weight room. This is what it's all for, the chance to play for a state championship. And tonight, the drive to Ford Field begins. Uh, the <laughs> playoffs are here and tonight in the football frenzy. We'll have highlights of up to 23 games for you, including Northview at Byron Center, Granville and Rockford, Portage Northern and Portage Central. For a preview of that Northview Byron Center game, we take you live to Byron Center. Alec Janakopoulos is covering this one for us tonight. Alec, it doesn't seem fair, does it? Northview goes 9-0 and and they have to go on the road and play Byron Center. That's just a brutal draw. Yeah, talk about a tough draw. I mean, it's a rule of thumb that if you're a good team, you'll make the playoffs. But if you can make it out of this district, you may be Ford Field bound. As you mentioned, Northview undefeated Byron Center only with one loss this season. That was earlier on a two-point loss to Mona Shores in the regular season. The Bulldogs can square off with Mona Shores again if they can beat Northview. But don't say that to Mark Sisko. He has no interest in looking beyond this week, and that is shared by the other side of the field, too. Both of these teams know the last thing you want to do is look ahead to who you have next week, especially when this division is so loaded with talent. That would be a disaster to look at all. Like, I mean, our kids are pretty locked into that. They know. Hopefully, they're not doing that. I know I'm not doing that. Uh, the team we're playing Friday night's good enough for sure. To, any team that's in the playoffs is good enough. Going 9-0 and is really hard. It's hard to do. you got to do a lot of things right. So whatever it is, they're doing a lot of things right. We need to be ready. we got Byron Center and Mona Shores and Traverse City West and, you know, arguably, you know, one of the better districts in the state. So, I mean, we're excited about the opportunity to play in the playoffs and play against a really good team. Now, the last time these two teams faced off, it was a 49 to nothing victory, courtesy of Byron Center. Something tells me this game might be a little bit closer than that. Reporting from Byron Center High School, I'm Alec Janikopoulos, News 8.